Welcome back to Midnight Chimes In. Those of you who saw my review of the last episode will know that my enthusiasm for Doctor Who at the moment is not exactly high, at least not for the current series. It's a strange situation because I want to be excited and this should be a very exciting time with a new production team taking over in a whole new era. But that's just it. It's not a new era, is it? The more that comes out, the more it becomes clear that we're just doing 2008 again, which... I'm going to get onto this more in a bit, but it's just really bad for Doctor Who to be going backwards like this. And to top it all off, we've now had the announcement that Murray Gold is coming back, which is just the icing on the cake. It's stale and it's tedious watching the show try to dredge up its past as though that will make it great again. And look, I am desperately trying to be open-minded. When I outlined my concerns for RTD2 at the end of the Power of the Doctor review, I did receive some pushback in the comments, and it made me question whether I'm being too quick to judge. And bear in mind, this was all before the Murray Gold announcement came out. Believe it or not, I don't want to dislike the series. I'm not an NMD. You know, the likes of Nerdrotic, they actively want to hate the show because their whole grift is outrage culture, and if they didn't hate the show, then they'd be out of a job. Whereas I would like nothing more than to watch the new episodes and really enjoy them and be pleasantly surprised. That's the difference between good and bad faith critique. But there's only so many times I can give Russell T. Davis the benefit of the doubt or try to excuse his creative decisions before it honestly feels feels like I'm just living in denial. If you go right back to when he was first announced as showrunner, you'll find that my initial response was actually quite optimistic, because after all, he is a smart guy and I really thought he would know better than to just try and recreate the past. And the funny thing is, there were a few stories that broke early on that did get me quite hyped up. We had Shooty Gatwa being cast as the Doctor, and I've still not seen him in Sex Education, but by all accounts he's a great actor for the role, who might also encourage a fresh new audience to get invested in Doctor Who. And of course there was the casting of Yasmin Finney, which is great representation that we absolutely need in the current climate, but even in that we had the fact her character is called Rose, and it was hinted she might be linked to the original Rose in some way, which was already starting to set off some alarm bells. Then of course the 13th Doctor regenerated into David Tennant, and even then a lot of people were saying, oh but it's just for the anniversary, and there's more going on here, it's not going to be just a case of him just being the Doctor again. But then Davies himself basically came out and said, no, there is no truth trick or clever twist here. David Tennant is the 14th Doctor. It still sounds so ridiculous saying that. All that fuss about his outfit regenerating and it turns out that was actually not plot related at all and just because something about drag. At some point you've got to accept that what is happening is what's happening and we've had the rumours of Stephen Moffat returning, Murray Gold is back, all I'm waiting for now is the announcement we're reverting back to the old title sequence with the Ellipse logo. But I suppose all of this begs the question, how bad is it really? Like, am I overreacting? Is going back to a previous era really so bad? Bad. I mean, let's take the best case scenario here and imagine that we get peak Russell T Davies era again and it's just like we've gone back to 2008. Well, that might make for a very nice nostalgia trip, but that novelty will wear off quickly, I dare say even with the mainstream audiences who've been clamouring for a David Tennant return. But what really bothers me is what we are potentially missing out on. I saw this image being shared around on Twitter recently and for me it basically sums up what is so great about Doctor Who and why it's so disappointing the way things are going. I truly I truly believe Doctor Who is quite unique in the way there are so many different kinds of stories you can tell within its framework, and we've seen this through the history of the show, how it has crossed into different genres, from the pure historicals that were designed to be educational, to the Bond-esque sci-fi espionage of the Pertwee era, and then there's the gothic horror of Philip Hinchcliffe and the whimsical fairy tale elements introduced by Stephen Moffat. Time and time again, new creative teams have come in with unique visions and breathed new life into the show. Just like the main character, it has the ability to constantly rejuvenate and renew itself, and yet now it looks increasingly like we're stagnating and just doing more of the same thing we've already done, and that honestly kind of sucks. This is Midnight Chimes, still waiting for the last train home. <laughs> <laughs>